CEO of Greenville Animations. Yeah. So have you got that idea to start it? Yeah. Uh, so back in 2001, when I started this company, I realized that in India there is a huge uh, gap uh, for children's content. In India, we have so many kids, but honestly, at in 2001, there was no content being made for Indian children. So, which is uh, something that is needed for the uh, kids. So, I saw this huge uh, gap, and I think in, in the year 2000, around that time, a lot of companies started because everybody realized that animation will be can be the next big thing, and this is needed not just for kill children's entertainment, but also it can be used in regular uh, 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 filmmaking, like in the VFX. The technology can be used in many ways. So, so for me, I felt that it is uh, Indian market needs uh, has space for comp uh, for a, a Disney-like company to start. And when I started the company, I felt I have to create at least a Disney out of India, and that's what we have done with Green Gold. We started making uh, content for Indian kids especially, and I think our big, biggest success story is Chota Beam, and with which we uh, made an iconic character in India's largest brand, kids brand. We have created with that, and uh, we are very happy and thankful to the kids for loving Beam. And uh, we're, it's a continuous uh, evol evolving. The animation is a continuous process, and we've been working on that. We've been continuous the upgrading the quality because today's kids really want to see a lot more uh, you know uh, newer things you know they're not satisfied easily with simple style of storytelling so we are now also launching a new show called super beam which is a plus plus version i would call for chota beam so in this one so chota beam was a 2d animated show uh, technically we upgraded now called a new show called super beam where it is a 3d animated show and in this show uh, so it's CGI which is computer generated and super beam like the name sounds has super powers now he can fly and is more 10 times more powerful than Chota beam uh, so it is very excited and uh, I'm very excited about this show we have uh, uh, launching the third movie of this series super beam in Dashra on Pogo channel so uh, uh, the next year also we're going to continuously produce more and more episodes of uh, super beam for the channels and uh, we hope that it'll go on to become more successful uh, as uh, and take the beam franchise forward so first it got aired in cartoon network pakistan so is it getting aired in other countries too enough uh, so uh, the chota beam was aired on pogo india actually and obviously the the link the, um, the satellite uh, link goes to indian subcontinent that includes countries like sri lanka everywhere wherever it goes so even it become popular in other countries countries like uh, Indian, uh, Nepal and everything but uh, in the last five years we have taken Chota Beam to other countries like Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, uh, so Southeast Asian countries. Now very soon we are launching in Middle East. Uh, we have launched uh, some of the episodes in US as well. Uh, we have gone to uh, Africa as well. So South Africa we have recently launched uh, but most of these have been also on Indian platforms unlike in Southeast Asia where uh, the audience has loved uh, Beam and it is dubbed into their local languages such as Basa and uh, Sinhalese in Sri Lanka and different languages. So how is Inuit Film Carnival is going on? Uh, this, so, the, so I guess this is the first time here in Ramoji. So I think so far it's great. The industry, uh, not just uh, in Hyderabad, but the entire India needs something like this where we have uh, entertainment coming together, whether it is filmmaking or television or media or animation or VFX or gaming. So it's all coming together. I think it's a fun fantastic thought uh, by the organizers and I think they have done a great job and I think this should be done every year and it should be continuously promoted because uh, for the veterans uh, they have already achieved what they want to achieve but there will be a lot of newcomers who should attend these kind of events and learn from the veterans on how they to learn about their story and how uh, how they achieve success and kind of follow the footstep and create so as an industry I think everyone will benefit uh, directly or indirectly from events like this. So thank you so much sir for you. Thank you so much.